Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Today's video is going to be an interesting one. I decided to make this video for you guys so that you can have wider options when you are purchasing your next niche perfume. So guys, today we'll be talking about expensive niche perfumes that are worth it. So stay tuned for that. Before we continue today guys, I would love to love you to drop in the comment section down below the price point which you consider expensive. Listen, this is going to be different for all of us because some perfumes onto this list which I personally consider expensive might be what we call a chicken change for you and vice versa. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and hey, welcome back to all of you my returning subscribers and thanks so much for tuning in today if you're just joining us today for the first time hello and welcome i am perfume kenigan and on this channel i do perfume reviews and i have a guide on how you can build your perfect and sustainable perfume collection like a pro without burning your cash if you need help with this then check out my free pdf download you'll find it in the link in the description box down below also make sure to hit on that subscribe button it's very important and to like this video if you haven't done that yet so guys I personally consider anything above 150 euros as expensive when it comes to perfumes so the perfumes onto this list will be starting from that price point the number five onto this list is a perfume that I utterly love and vibe with it is a flanca of a very popular perfume from the house of BDK which is a compliment magnet. Listen, this perfume is dark, it is opulent, it is warm, it is amber, it is very mysterious, but stunning at the same time. Guys, the perfume that I am talking about is the extract version that contains about 30% of essential oils and it is called a uh, Grease Channel. Oh my God. This one smells like a cardamom bomb dipped, in, dipped into a vanilla and tonka bean. It is sweet, it is earthy, with prominent incense notes that gave it this astonishing woody accord. This is for sure a cool good perfume because there is something cozy about it. And I think it's the vanilla because vanilla is a note that usually emits this cozy vibe in perfumes. Listen, the notes in this particular perfume are harmoniously blended to perfection. And I don't know anyone who don't love this particular perfume. However, this is a dressed up type of perfume Listen, if you're a guy, wear this gem with a black tuxedo. And if you're a woman who wants to emit this mysterious allure, then wear a black jumpsuit with a pair of pumps while wearing Gris Chanel. It retails for 240 euros for 100 ml bottle. And I think it is worth every penny. However, it is not suitable for the warmer, warmer months. So make sure to wear this in the colder months and you will love it. Gris channel guys today's video is sponsored by a brand called the mole beauty it is a skincare brand but before i talk about it do you know that i have a skincare blog that i've been running since 2017 i am going to link the website in the description box down below so back to mole beauty they have amazing skincare products for men and for women and i have one of their face serums here this one is called the mayat milk gold face serum for women listen this particular serum, it contains an ingredient that is called MSM. In the skincare world, we always talk about retinol, we talk about vitamin C and niacinamide, etc. But MSM is a wonder ingredient because it is a sulfur compound that helps with wound healing, it helps with collagen production. And hey, you can get this particular face serum and 25% off everything on Mole Beauty website if you use my code Chioma25. So go ahead and check it out. You will find the link in the description box down below. Hey, thank you Mole Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Now back to perfume reviews. If you've been on this channel for a while, then you will be able to guess the number four on my list because I've talked about it a million times. It is a perfume that I absolutely love and it retails for 340 euros for a 70 ml bottle. 
This one is an amber floral perfume that commands a huge presence. Guys, I am talking about uh, Baccarat Rouge 540. For those of you who might be wondering the difference between this particular one and the OG Baccarat Rouge, listen, the 540 is an straight version, which means that the brand amped up the essential oils while making this one. I don't have the uh, percentage, but I am guessing maybe 30 or 40 percent. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know the percentage of essential oils used in making uh, Baccarat Rouge the 540. Uh, listen, this perfume is quite polarizing in that you either love it or you hate it. But I assure you guys that I love it. And I see myself having this particular perfume in my collection forever. It is a gorgeous unisex with a uh, unisex perfume with notes of you get bitter almond you get amber grease you get cedar you get musk which brought all this animalic side to it this perfume is sweet and it has this burnt sugar side to it overall it is very enchanting and will make the boys chase you down the streets to get a whiff of you out of this word scent listen this is definitely a splurge in my opinion but if you can get this scent over the years, I've discovered that this, um, the Baccarat Rouge 540 has been watered down, watered down a little bit. Let me know if you noticed this as well in the comment section down below. So the number four on our list today is called the Baccarat Rouge 540. So guys, make sure to subscribe and to like this video if you want your niche perfumes to smell expensive. <laughs> That's a joke. The number three on my most expensive niche perfumes that are worth the price is another sultry amber perfume that is a shoe stopper. I realized that whenever I wear this perfume, I get major compliments from guys. And I once told you guys how I encountered this perfume in one of my video called, um, videos called Best 5 Cents That Will Get You Compliments. So make sure to watch that video after this one. I will link it above and also in the description box down below. This particular perfume is from a Swedish brand called uh, Panadura. And the perfume that I am talking about is called Krok Oxia. What in the woodiness is going on here? This is a very complex scent. And what do I mean by that? I mean that the notes envelope into, envelops into something else sporadically. This perfume is rich and will make you smell rich and sexy at the same time. I love all the individual notes here, but I get, I got this particular perfume mainly because it contains saffron, blood orange, cedar, leather, labdanum, etc. Listen, I am intrigued by oriental and woody perfumes, so it was no surprise when I added this particular one to my collection. This perfume is niche in every aspect of it. It is highly recommended from me. Get this particular one instead of the Pakara Rouge that I talked about and thank me later. It retails for 225 euros for a 100ml bottle and it is super long lasting. The silage is really amazing. It fills up the entire room and it is called a crop oxial from the house of panadura the bottle is really stunning i sincerely buy with this particular perfume there is no way that i will compare this list without adding reckless leather from the house of amwaj which is the number two on our list but before we get into it i want you guys to start journaling your perfume journey i created a journal that you can use specifically for this purpose and the good thing is that you can even do this when you get decants or testers from a perfume shop. This will enable you to build your perfume collection intelligently as you'll be able to note down some specific points like the notes, the price point, and the feelings the, perfumes, the perfume evokes in you. Listen, this journal is amazing and I have been using it for over eight months, I think. So head over to my description box down below where you find a link to this journal and let me know what you think about it once you get yours. Thank you. Okay, so back to reckless leather. Hmm. The leather in this particular perfume is reckless and untamed and arrogant and a show off. It is a type of perfume that commands respect to the wearer and the notes in this, perfumes, in this perfume are very spicy and deeply resinous but also very seductive. It contains notes of galbanum which is a green note. Then you get your olibanum aka frankincense which is a resin 
and at the base, uh, you get some leather, ambroxian, and patchouli, which gave this perfume, I'm talking about patchouli, some serious freshness and made it super long lasting. Reckless leather is a perfume that will last forever on your clothes and skin, and it's really hard, seriously, hard to wash it off. However, it is not a safe blind buy, so make sure to sample it first before committing to a full bottle. It retails for 3.55 euros, and this is a perfume for men, <laughs> but I have it in my collection because I, I love it. Reckless leather from the house of Amwage. This one is from the Opus 8 collection and the bottle is really stunning. The number one on today's list is one of the most exceptional perfumes I've ever smelled in my lifetime. Yes, it is. It is a great masterpiece. It is fantastic, dense, bold, extremely well blended, spicy, outstanding performance. It is a class in a bottle. It is multifaceted, it is epic, and it's something for all my well-suited and well-mannered guys. And ladies, I am crazy about this particular perfume. And here, Amwaj did a great job, and I, I am here for it. We are talking about the Reflection 45 Man, with notes of juniper berries, pink pepper, cardamom, lavender, tongue cabin, olibanum, and some other incense notes. Oh, this is stunning. Listen, this particular perfume is very expensive because according to the brand, it contains a uh, 45% of essential oils, which is explosive. But if you want to try something similar, then try out a Pegasus from the house of Parfums de Mali. But the latter is not super long lasting like Reflection Man 45 and doesn't make the same kind of impression. Listen, Reflection Man is a pleasant perfume to wear all year round. But I noticed that it projects more during the colder months. So keep that in mind when wearing this particular perfume. It retails for 4, uh, 455 euros and it is one of my favorite niche perfume perfumes of all time. Reflection Man 45. The bottle is out of this world and it smells like the gathering of the rich people. That's it. Guys, we've come to the end of today's video. Share with me in the comment section down below your favorite niche perfume. I can't wait to read from you guys and hey, thank you so much and I love you all. As always, I share my scent of the day with you towards the end of the video and today I am wearing a perfume called A Seduction from the house of Guess. Oh, this one is really good. Now, if you want to learn how to layer on your perfume like a pro, then click on this video. I can't wait to see you there. Cheers.